Prince of Swords Being air in air, the Prince of Swords is the pure manifestation of mind and intellect, full of plans and ideas which on the worst side may disturb and confuse each other, on the best create an inexhaustible spring of creative thoughts. The Prince of Swords is intelligent, idealistic, full of creativity and fluidity, a real Mercurian spirit who often will argue just for the fondness of arguing and not so much for the arguments themselves. The Prince of Swords can throw himself head over heels into a scientific research, reaching highest levels within a short time and then throw everything away without further notice because something else appears more interesting at the moment. On the dark side, the Prince of Swords lacks both the qualities of water and earth, he can easily become unstable, unreliable and extremely moody, using his amount of intelligence to trick himself through life, becoming a master of disguise and cheat. On a day ruled by the Prince of Swords it will be our inner world we need to direct our attention towards. We need to study our thoughts, and allow them the time to extend. Too often a thought crosses our mind and we are unable to give that thought the room to grow and develop until it achieves its maximum potential, and because this happens very often we fail to live up to ourselves too. So try to set time aside for quiet inner contemplation when the Prince of Swords is having an influence. Think about your own opinions on given topics, not necessarily personal ones, but more general issues as well. You know, often we fail to converse with ourselves even to the extent that we converse with our acquaintances. We take for granted what we think and what we know, even though our opinions may not have been revised in years. As constantly growing individuals, our opinions certainly will change on some subjects. And if we don't give ourselves the time to check them out every now and again, we can become alienated from our own development. This can lead to all kinds of problems, see the 8,9 and 10 of swords for examples of this.